Welcome to Journey Java FX. This is the uh, season two episode thirty. Um, in this episode, we are going to do something fun, which is the drag and drop stuff. Uh, among our internal controls, it's more like from the uh, you know uh, list folder view selected item to HTML editor or to another kind of uh, text field. It's gonna be fun. Here we go. Okay, uh, let me do a quick save. Let's go back here. So our goal is more like, you know, um, when we run our application, say sometimes I want to attach a file to my nodes, like somewhere, for example, like this. But for now, it's not allowing me to, right? It's more like, say, I'm taking some nodes, say, oh, this cat is funny, right? And I want to put a, a kind of a file underneath it. So later on, when I come back to this project, I know, okay, so this file is, you know, something like uh, the cat is funny, right? This is the purpose of this uh, kind of uh, design. All right, let's uh, see how to make it happen. So the first, we need to do something here. On drag, detect it, right? So over here, I'm going to say list view um, on drag, detect it. It's kind of event. So for now, when we drag it, nothing happens. So this event will kind of, uh, oh, here, we have one uh, method got to take care of. Click, create a new method. So it's more like, uh, you know, uh, enable this kind of uh, drag and drop stuff, right? So for now, when I run the application, as you can see, it's not, uh, letting me do anything right so now we're gonna fix this problem so for now we're gonna do a test what um it's more like say if um, what we should say uh mouse event dot um cat no Sorry, uh, my cat interrupted me. Um, it's more like say, what are we gonna do? Um, detect it. Let's do it also at P, right? Say, okay, drag, detect it. Just so see, you know, if this event fires in the way I'm thinking. So for now, okay, it's cool. So we do a test, say um, string, say string equals to list view folder dot get model dot get item, right? Say if str mm, not equal to null, right? We're gonna do something like this because if it's null, it's no point. Uh, we're gonna do this, so it's fired. And then we're gonna create a thing called drag board blackboard equals to um, this control folder dot start to drag and drop it's kind of you know initiate this kind of uh, drag and drop process so then the transfer type I would say any so now it should be able to allowing us to do something right and then what else um, by saying drag and drop is just like manually copy something paste it to something right so then in this way we're gonna create a um, kind of uh, object called clipboard content so clipboard content is going to be um, kind of a uh, um, new clipboard content right we're gonna create a new one and then we're gonna say put Content output string, right? Because we know uh, we are copying a string instead of something else. So if string is done now, and then we're gonna start this copy, right? And then we're gonna pack this thing into the into the drag board dot set content. Then we're gonna pack in this. So now it's kind of you know we copy whatever we drag right and then when we drop it it's kind of you know a paste to there right so now i think we are ready to test it oh 
Okay, let's see the apple. Let me uh, click and drag. So now it's detected. And then once I drag over to the HTML editor, once I release the mouse button, it's dropped. Um, but for, for this kind of thing happen, it's really because uh, HTML editor is pretty special. It's like, you know, smarter. Um, if I click and drag something here over to the other text box, nothing gonna happen, right? So it means we need to do something else. But for now, I'm pretty happy. But uh, just want to show you even more stuff, how to like drag and drop stuff to another control. Maybe you have a, another idea, then you know this method will be helpful. So let's work on that. And uh, for this, I'm gonna put something else. Just uh, decorate it. You know, put a square a bracket around it. So then you know it's kind of uh, looks nicer, right? So for that purpose, because on our current UI, we don't have that thing. So I'm going to um, copy paste a new text field to show you how this thing works. It's quite simple, though. Uh, let's make it like 200, not uh, too long, right? And also call it text field test, right? It's only for testing purpose. And for this one, we need two things. One is drag and drop, right? So text field um, test on drag drop. And another one is uh, drag over. So text field test on drag over. These are the two methods we need. So it's more like, um, okay, let's go to our FSML. Uh, we have two red, let's go red to it. Okay, create the method. This one is on drop, let's uh, drag over first. It's gonna take a little while, IntelliJ works very hard. Okay, let's go back to the uh, FSML again, to create a method. So then we won't have the failure, you know, when we test it. Okay, so now we are pretty good. So this track over is going to enable the control to receive something coming in, right? So then we're gonna say uh, if drag event dot get board dot has string because it's a text field. It must have some string, right? So in this way, we are going to say. Um, this drag event dot accept transfer mode transfer mode any so now it's good it's more like turning on this function for this text field to receive something you know coming in right let's test it um for now i'm gonna comment it out just to show you the differences so apple project i'm going to drag and drop perfectly it's working let's drag over to here it's not accepting right so now i'm gonna uncomment this let's see the differences okay uh, let's do this drag over yeah my cursor changed it's accepting but once i release my mouse nothing gonna happen so how to uh, copy over the thing? It's gonna be happen in this event. So let's say if drag event dot get board dot add string, we're gonna do this. Um, oh, we haven't declared this uh, text field on top, right? So let's make a copy. Okay, this one gonna be ha text test. Right, it's already recognized by our FSML. So over here, we're gonna do this um, text field test dot set text, and then drag event dot get board dot get string. And again, over here, I'm gonna say uh, event drag event dot consume. Yeah. 
even without it, I don't think we have a problem. Try it again. So select it. Let's drag this uh, cat. Look at that, it works, right? Um, I'm not sure what's the, uh, you know, again, as I said in previous episode, I'm not quite clear about this consume method. So even if I comment it out, um, yeah, let's try it here. So see if this gonna kill it. Uh, mouse event dot consume. See what's the difference. I'm just curious. Um, and also here. Let's say um, drag event dot consume. Mm. Maybe it's not uh, working. I mean, maybe my my guessing is wrong. Yeah, make no no difference to me. Um, I don't know. If you know, please comment down below. Um, I really want to know what's the purpose of this one. But anyway, um, I think in the end we should put it here. It's just like you know, based on my understanding, it's kind of putting a uh, kind of you know a um, stopping point. That's my uh, current understanding. Anyway, so we achieved everything, I think. Um, yeah. If I have something else to share, I'm gonna create another episode. Otherwise, the very last one will be a kind of a final uh, demonstration of our project. All right. See you in the next one.